there's something that any one of us can practice doing wherever we are. Well, at least in an urban setting. And that is the lettering outside a shop or a cafe. And you know what? If it's a cafe, so much the better because you can sit there with your cup of coffee or your nice cup of tea and you can practice your drawing. So I'm using a Fude 55 degree nib here and my pen is by Sailor. So it's really handy for a nice expressive and varied line. So I've started off by putting the shadows on the right of all the letters. And now I'm writing these skinny little letters. Now, you know, there's something that happens when you start to draw letters as opposed to writing a word. And that is that you forget how to spell. You do, you forget how to spell. So my solution to that is to spell the word out in your mind as you're drawing. And no matter how many times you tell yourself to do this, you'll forget and you will misspell your words. Now here I am putting on some skin on these workers having a quick break from work. I don't know if this guy's having a break from work, but he's stirring his coffee and he's got a kind of a well, we'll say he's got a yellow ochre stroke, cherry quinacridone red skin tone. Here's a little bit of, of yellow ochre, a bit of burnt sienna mixed into it to do the wood for the chairs. Mm, now I've got to be a little bit careful here because the skin is still wet and at any second that green could swoosh into the skin tones and make everything contaminated. This bit is where I draw some of the most some of the worst writing that I have done in a long while. I don't know why it came out so badly for me, really, after me saying all these tips on how to do it right. I just don't know. Okay, so this pen here is a Jin Hao. It's also a Fude 55 degree nib. And the ink is Urban Grey by Deatramentus Document Ink. So it's waterproof and it's grey. That's really nice. I really like it. So uh, finally, final letter and word badly drawn. Time to paint the rest of the of the little shop front here. Now this is a fabulous little cafe bake, bakery in an industrial estate. Look how badly that F is done and the E. I don't know what I was thinking. But the thing about lettering is there's always another letter to keep practicing, keep trying. And it is a truly great way to practice your spacing, your proportions, your distances so that you can get better at drawing in general. Not to mention, even when it's really badly done, as I've done over here, it's a lot of fun. It really doesn't matter. It's a lot of fun. And I'm all for trying to draw properly and correctly. It just doesn't always come out that way. It doesn't come out that way all, all of the time. And I've been drawing since, I don't know, well, since God was a child, as they say. But I love having a go. I love every time I come back to it. I just really like that chance to make everything right and do my best. Now, when you're drawing people in a cafe like this, um, I do try not to be seen because I get very uncomfortable when I get caught in sketching someone. Not, not very surprisingly, because, you know, people are just trying to have their little break and they don't really fancy having some woman staring at them and drawing them but um, I do try to be subtle now I'm using the point of my or 13 that's my rosemary and co brush I am using the point of it to fill in the background I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I am going to go over it a second time just to make that background a little bit richer to fill in around the letters make it a little bit richer and make those letters stand out a little bit. Now, a steady hand is an advantage here. Oops, as you can see. So, yeah, I don't have one of those, unfortunately, but I do try, I do try my best. Now, in this one, I've waited for the paint to dry and I've put on a bit of a, a gold scribble on the letters. Now, the letters were fully gold, but I thought they'd look a bit flat or a bit dead if I did that. So. I just gave it a little bit of a scribble instead and I thought it was okay. I mean, the whole thing is very much just really a quick sketch while I have a cup of coffee, but it's such a nice way to pass the time and have 
a really nice coffee break at the same time. Just Payne's Grey, Yellow Ochre, Cherry Quinacridone Red to change the colour of the skin tones a bit. And what else have I got? Oh, and those greens, Sap Green and Phthalo Green mixed together. And there you go, there's the, there's the finished piece. I mean, it's, like I say, not hugely finished, but I really enjoyed it and it was fun. It was a lovely way to spend spend a, a coffee break. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this very simple little video and I look forward to seeing you the next time.